What's up, yo? It's your boy Mikey Res. You already know back on my channel, and I'm here for today's midday quick too. And I'm excited for y'all. I'm excited to talk about this because it's been long time coming. And medyo magulo yung weekend eh, kaya hindi ko pa na pag-usapan to. Eh. Pero pag-usapan natin yun. First and foremost, I just want to thank all of y'all for all the support, the views, all the kind words that you sent my way, whether it be the DMs, IG, comment section, lahat, man. I appreciate all of y'all. Alam nyo naman, that I, kumbaga, na-inspire ako, napupush ako kada nagsisend kayo ng mga ganong bagay. Kasi, na, na, kumbaga, na, kung na-enjoy nyo yung content natin, ba't tayo titigil? Diba? Tuloy-tuloy lang tayo dito sa channel natin. To those who haven't subscribed, you already know. More basketball content coming your way. Actually, you don't know kasi hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe eh. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Alam nyo naman eh. Tuloy-tuloy tayo dito. Please follow, like, um, yung mga ibang social media natin, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. We're trying to put out content on all social platforms para medyo kumbaga kumalat pa yung channel natin. Kasi alam nyo naman, we're trying to spread positivity, we're trying to spread stories, we're trying to spread awareness. Siyempre, sa mga buhay ng ating mga hoopers, ating mga basketball players, kasi alam naman natin, basketball is such, basketball is such a big thing or a big, it's obviously the most popular sport in the country. So, di ba, yun ang kinakalat natin. Oh, and by the way! We have our first contest para sa ating channel and that's our create our new um what do you call this intro sequence para sa intro na ating mga videos create that uh, send it over to my email it's 3 seconds long lang naman eh tatlong segundo lang guys make yung mga marunong gumawa ng mga ganito make sure you know make your creativeness Use your creativeness. Send your entries over. March 20 ang deadline natin to type pipile. And the winners will get the two-month membership sa ating channels to watch all the uncut episodes. And of course, yung perks natin tuloy-tuloy yan para doon sa mga manalo, para doon sa mga members. And you get one exclusive channel shirt. One of the first. Kasi hindi pa naman talaga lumalabas. Diba? So, doon sa mga artist, ano ba tawag doon? Sa mga artist dyan? Artistry? <laughs> Send in your entries para dyan. Stop messaging me! Ina. Alright, so just send in your entries and pipili tayo dun. And yeah, para magbago na intro natin sa mga videos natin. I'm excited for that, man. And ano pa ba? Oh, hit the link down in the description kung gusto nyo maging member ng channel natin. Gusto nyo sumama sa mga banyo session natin, mga uncut episodes, and all those things, man. Hit the link down in the description if you're interested. So yeah, yun yung introduction ko sa video to. Sobrang haba, alright? Pag-usapan na natin yung kailangan natin pag-usapan. Alright, so for our midday quick two, like I said, matagal na natin dito pag matagal na natin tong gusto pag usapan pero hindi natin na pag usapan kasi ang dami ng yari over the weekend with all the trades and all the transactions and the Bobby Ray issue. So ngayon pag usapan na natin the draft. Okay, the Philams didn't make it. Especially the four Philams that we talked about just last week, did not make it. Namely, Taylor Stetham, Brandon Gonzalez Rosser, Jeremiah Gray, and Jason Brickman. Now, my thoughts or our thoughts on the Philams is that Brandon Gonzalez Rosser is a good player. He's 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 a good Okay, because these four guys could have, you know, kung baga, inangat na naman yung competition ng PBA. Especially the ones na pwedeng mapunta dun sa teams na medyo mas mahina. Di ba? Like the Mahindras, the Blackwaters, di ba? The Northports. Di ba? Actually, hindi ko alam ba't mahina yung Northport kasi malakas yung Northport eh. Pero, like, a Taylor Statham could have turned a franchise around. A Jason Brickman could have turned a franchise around. Jeremiah Gray, Brandon Rosser also have potential of being studs in the league. Pero yung Brickman, Taylor Statham, Thumb. Right away yun, pagkakuha mo sa isang team yun, talaga magko-contribute agad yun. And it just sucks because again, they won't have the chance to join the draft. And sa akin lang, ah, I've, been, I've been reading a lot of tweets about yung mga requirements kasi sa PBA, medyo outdated nga, medyo, medyo unfair. Pero ano lang naman ako eh, kumbaga I respect kung ano talaga yung patakara ng PBA. Nakakatawa lang sa akin yung may kapatid ka na sa liga. Tapos ikaw bawal. That's what happened to almost to Jeric Ahanmisi. Jeric Ahanmisi nga. Four years nag-UAP. Muntik pang hindi makasali. Alex Takto naglaro sa FU. Muntik pang hindi makasali. And it's funny how may kapatid ka na sa liga. Like Brandon Ganuelos Rosser. Like his brother is a mainstay in the league. Like Matt has been there for years. How can the younger brother not be able to join the draft when the older brother is already there? Now, I don't know the complications. Hindi ko alam kung ano. Ang alam ko lang is pag hindi ka pinanganak dito, Filam ka na. For me, my take on that is, a dude who has 100% Filipino blood is more Filipino than a dude who's half Filipino tas dito pinanganak. Like, panganak won't really change someone's genes. So, kung pinanganak ako sa States, magiging kanu ako? So, kung pinanganak ako sa States, magiging, you know, I have black genes? No. Diba? If I'm pure Filipino, my mom is Filipino, my dad is Filipino, Pinoy ako kahit saan pa ako panganak. Kahit saan pa ako ipanganak. Kumbaga, diba? Uh, 
hindi ko maintindihan. Minsan yung mga ganong ano. Pero, yung half Filipino lang, na dito pinanganak, mas Pinoy kaysa dun sa Filipino na dun pinanganak. That, that doesn't make any sense to me, man. Paano kung nagkataon lang, boom, nagbakasyon lang dun, tapos dun lang, hindi ko lang mag-gets yung mga ganong ano. Now, with the four of them, I'll, I'll be honest with you, with the four of them, I don't know kung ano complications. I don't know kung pinanganak kasi sa ganito, kasi yung passport, di ba may mga ganun, ano? It just sucks. It just sucks because the, 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 kumbaga yung, ano natin, yung criteria natin of how Filipino you are is pretty outdated, di ba? But at the end of the day, nasa kanila naman yan yung patakbo nila. Nasa kanila naman kung ano talaga yung mga requirements nila, di ba? But it just sucks on a basketball perspective. Yun naman talaga yung pinag-uusapan natin dito sa channel na to, di ba? Kung naman yun nangyayari dun sa paano pumasok, ano yung requirements, wala na tayong ano dun. Basketball ang pag-usapan natin, okay? Basketball. On a basketball perspective, can you imagine we lost a point guard who could have been a top point guard in the league in Jason Brickman? Yung, yung savviness ni Jason Brickman, yung IQ ni Jason Brickman is one of the best already. Matanda na si Jason Brickman, guys. Let's face it, he's 30 plus. So talaga umikot na sa mundo yan. He, he played four years at a Division One basketball. He actually leads, kumbaga, ano siya, top in total assist siya dun eh, ang alam ko eh. But if you really think about it, uh, sayang lang na may ganun ka-solid na point guard, na naglaro na ng alab, di ba, nag-represent na ng Pilipinas, nagsuot na ng alab Pilipinas, eh, hindi makakapasok ng PBA. Taylor Statham as well, who has been, um, kumbaga, an underrated guy, an under-the-radar guy, and finally, he could have he could have had the chance to finally really play in front of Filipinos, in front of a Filipino crowd na, you know, mapapakita niya kung ano talaga kaya niya. And it sucks because they have to wait one more year. Um, sa banyo session namin, the Banyu people were suggesting that why can't they join the, the Gilas draft and then fix their papers. I don't know how that'll work. Ang sinasabi sa akin ng mga Banyu people is, pag pumasok as Gilas draft, tas na draft sila, they have time within the season to fix their papers. And then when they finally fix their papers, pwede na sila maglaro. Hindi na nila kailangan, hindi na nila kailangan mag-antay ng next year. And I don't know if that's another, ano, that's another option, pero hopefully they look into that. And, you know, it just sucks because we were looking forward to new talent or new breed in the league. To the people who are who have been saying na dapat mag-expand na yung PBA, pag-uusapan na natin yan within the week. But I have mixed emotions about expansion teams pa. I really do. You know, for this midday quick two, dun ako na. Disappoint lang ako knowing that the four guys who could have changed, kumbaga, a team or could have made a team more competitive or could have changed the whole franchise. If you can get a Jason Brickman or a Taylor Statham in your team, it could change the whole franchise. Like I'm telling you, these guys are top five talents in the league or in the draft. Diba? They could be top 10, top 20 talents in the whole league once they enter. But yeah, that's just how it is. That's just what it is. Uh, the, the draft, this class is still one of the strongest we've seen in recent years. Of course, with the pandemic, na talaga lat sumali na. I think the total right now is 90 something pa din eh, or oh, high, high 80s. Pero, diba? It's going to be exciting on, sa on Sunday. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm thinking of ways to kumbaga, celebrate or watch the draft with all of you. I don't want to go live, to be honest, kasi nakakapagod yun. Pero nag ako ng content for the draft. Hit me up on the comment section what y'all think. Hit me up on the comment section if you can suggest anything. Oh, by the way. Salamat nga pala guys yung support na last night dun sa ating VC breakdown na. I saw the support. It was a crazy video. It was fun. It was of uh, Stanley Pringle. Hopefully, we can do more or we will do more. Keep suggesting the players. Keep suggesting kung ano yung pag-uusapan natin. And I appreciate you guys for all the love, man. Really, I really, really appreciate you guys. And stay on the comment section what y'all think about this quick too. Medyo mabilis lang to. I just really wanted to say how disappointed I am that I won't be able to watch them or see them compete in the PBA because I know their talents are for sure PBA material for sure man for sure and it sucks it sucks hopefully they get their papers fixed hindi pa naman sila like old too old na next year hindi na sila pwede pero hopefully hindi sila mawala ng gana yun lang hopefully hindi sila ma mawala ng gana and as for the PBA uh, find a way hopefully they just find a way to medyo ayusin nila ng konti yung requirements sa talagang man kung Pinoy ka Pinoy ka diba wag na tayo kung ako pinanganak ako sa Spain hindi ma rin ako maging Espanyol Pinoy pa din ako, di ba? Medyo lamang lang sila sa pagkain. Siguro mas masarap yung pagkain nila nung bata sila. Pero still, di ba? That's not, that's not, that doesn't make you less Pinoy. Di ba? Kung steak ang kinakain nila nung bata sila, tapos tayo, ay ako, nakaano lang ako eh, tuyo, tuyo at dilis, di ba? Eh, ganun eh. Pero that doesn't make them any less Pinoy than I am, di ba? Although, syempre, asa sa kanila pa din, asa PBA pa din yan eh. But you could, you know, you could increase your viewership if these guys can make it though. 
di ba? We're gonna see the best basketball players talaga. The best Filipino basketball players on the court. Meron pa din ganun eh. So, you know, hopefully the PBA is on it. Hopefully the PBA will find ways to make the league better, make the drafting, kumbaga, a little less complicated. But yeah, at the end of the day, I'm excited for Sunday. I'm, I'm sure you all are too. Alright? Alright. And there you have it, man, for our midday quick two on a Tuesday, middle of the week. Later tonight, um, magala magkakaroon tayo ng VC breakdown. I got you guys. I got you. Ano bala? So I just appreciate all of you. I just wanna send my thanks out to all of you who keep sending me love, who keep supporting the channel. And guys, don't forget to follow our Instagram page, our Facebook page, and our TikTok page. Dun lalabas lahat ng updates natin. And of course, you merch natin lalabas na daw. I think this week or next week. But watch out for that. All right. And of course, our contest again. Send in your entries sa email ko. Our new Intro video, intro video sequence, video intro sequence. All right, three seconds lang naman para maangas yung pasok natin sa mga videos natin. All right, you can win the pri- you can win prizes over there as well. Two month memberships at ating channel and of course an exclusive Mikey or channel. I don't want to say my name. Exclusive channel shirt. All right, to those who haven't subscribed, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button because you already know more basketball content coming your way. The name is Mike Grace. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. And I'ma see y'all tonight for our VC breakdown. Thank <laughs> you.